Happy, happy Friday, everyone. Let's do the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It is weather for weather geeks, even if you're not a geek. I hope you enjoy this evening's video, which will uh, bring us up to date on what's going to happen tonight with a little bit of snow and over the weekend, uh, some raindrops and then some colder air making inroads as we head into next week. But if you're not a fan of the cold, I think you'll like some of the uh, longer range discussion that we'll have at the end of this video. First, let's look backwards. It's hard to find a cooler than average day over the last 31. There's only been a few, including today. Today was five degrees cooler than the average, only bested by the 14th of the month, which was uh, seven degrees cooler than the average. Of course, it's been a very warm January of 2023, and this is where we stand in terms of the rankings. If the month ended today, it would be the fourth warmest January on record. Uh, we'll probably finish in the top five. Uh, we've got some milder weather for the weekend, some colder weather at the last minute before the month ends early next week. We'll probably finish fourth, maybe fifth, as far as the, the overall rankings for this very mild January of 2023. All right, it's not uh, mild air and rain that's the story tonight. It's actually snow. It's not a big amount, but there's actually some decent snow rates uh, occurring as of this recording at 7 p.m. in central Ohio around Mansfield. Visibility down to about a mile or so in some spots along the I-71 corridor. This isn't going to last long, but it could be enough as it pushes through this evening to coat the ground in a couple of spots and make for a few slick surfaces, but accumulations should be generally under an inch. So we'll keep you updated on that on social media throughout the evening. In the meantime, as we head towards the uh, weekend, this front edges ever so closely as Saturday gets underway, but I think it will kind of just only make it so far. And so we stay on the mild side of things for Saturday with clouds and sunny breaks. The uh, warm front then lifts off to the north on Sunday, keeping us firmly in the mild air on Sunday. Unfortunately, though, it's going to come with rain, especially in the morning, maybe a lingering shower as we get into the afternoon on Sunday. But Sunday morning, just a good morning to sleep in. It's going to be just kind of gloomy outside. So going to late Sunday night into Monday. Well, that front's long gone, but a weak disturbance crossing the area might produce a touch of snow or a few flurries as temperatures begin to step back on Monday. But again, warmer than average over the weekend. 40 on Saturday, 42 on Sunday. Warm enough for liquid precipitation on our Sunday, especially in the morning hours. Now, that being said, the colder air is going to uh, take over across much of the lower 48 states next week. Notice the cold air anomalies here encompassing most of the country with the exception of uh, Florida and uh, parts of the western U.S. late in the week. That being said, as we go into the longer, longer range, this is today's uh, week three and four outlook from the uh, Climate Prediction Center. So this basically takes us from about February 11th through the 24th. And yeah, I, I think it's becoming increasingly likely that a warmer than average pattern is going to bounce back into the eastern U.S. once we get done with some cold early on in the month, just the first few days of the month, really. I think we even start the turnaround as early as late next week, in about 9 or 10 days from right now. So, again, if you're not a fan of the cold, I think you'll uh, be pleased with uh, some of the longer-range trends as we go into the month of February. Will February be as warm as January compared to the average? I wouldn't rule that out just yet, but... It doesn't seem all that likely either because, again, I think we're going to finish with a top five warm January. All right, short and sweet on this Friday evening. Thanks for watching. As always, everyone, have a great weekend. I'll see you back here on Monday. And, again, more updates on this evening's snow on social media and on 21 News at 11 p.m.